Hello everybody, I am back for Reincarnated as a Slime, episode 9. Um, so, last episode is actually still really fresh in my mind because I watched it yesterday, I'm trying to get ahead right now so I can release early access on my Patreon, and to do that I want to have all the videos ready so when I, when I release it I can be one ahead as I go, and always have the videos ready and everything. And possibly even work on getting more than one ahead for those of you that uh, support me on Patreon. And uh, you guys get the added benefit of seeing further ahead, getting more episodes more frequently. Um, and stuff like that. Uh, it won't affect my normal schedule at all. Uh, all the episodes will still be releasing, you know, one a week on the normal days and everything. But yeah, so I basically just watched it last night. Um, and now tonight I'm watching another one. Uh, so last time on Reincarnated as a Slime, we had Shizue Izawa unfortunately passed away, which was a very sad episode, um, but a very beautiful goodbye in my opinion. Uh, they did a very good job with it. They didn't bring any, like, drama into it that they could have with uh, the other adventurers being like, oh my god, you ate her, and stuff like that. Um, and... Rem also got his human form with the permission of a human without having to devour a human because that was always a concern I had was whether or not uh, he was going to have to eat somebody and how that was going to go about like happening and so it ended up being a good way and then the adventurers took off to go and form the guild so who knows how that'll go. We still don't know anything about the elf that's supposed to be keeping an eye on Rem from the dwarf village. And then this started, like, the beginning of a story again. Like, it, it was, like, the end and the beginning in one episode. And uh, and now we get a... We have our hero's journey possibly going on. And uh, we have this village being built. We have this Gelmid guy who created Geld, I believe. An orc. Or... It's a, it's a pig guy. I don't know if those are considered orcs. That is going to create the orc disaster by, like, taking the Great Forest of Jura, which I believe is where Rim is held up. Uh, so, I don't know if we're going to see that this episode or if that's a future plot line. But I'm guessing we're probably going to have some town stuff with them rebuilding from the mess that uh, Shizue left and all that. But, yeah, I'm really looking forward to this. Uh, so I say we jump into the episode and see what happens. Alrighty, so we are gonna start the episode in five, four, three, two, one, now. Do 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 That time, I got reincarnated as a slime. Aw, and now every time I see Shizu in the intro, I'm be saying. I do have my suspicions about the hero that she was with, because it looks so much like her. It's weird, but who knows. <laughs> oh yeah. Oh, I should move this coffee somewhere. Straws in my way from reading subtitles. Okay, here we go. <laughs> He's being carried on like a piece of wood. <laughs> I'm guessing they're bringing that somewhere and he's just using it as a view and stuff. But that's still funny. It almost looks like they're like worshipping him, carrying him around his village. Mm-hmm. 
Nice. Bloop, 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 bloop. <laughs> What is he about to do? Oh, cool. Nice, so you fixed it. Oh God, oh geez. He brought clothes out last time, God damn it. So, I've always said he, but is Rim genderless? I'm assuming that's the case, because he's a slime. Do slimes have genders? And does that mean his mimic is genderless as well? Hmm. Interesting. Ooh, okay. So does that mean Ifrit is dead? Or can he do that on living things that are inside of him? Jeez. It's so creepy. Even though it's like a male form, it almost has like a girly face. It's... Yeah, see, exactly. <laughs> Oh my god. Oh god. No, that's what I was saying. Okay. It answered for me. Now that that scene's over with... Hopefully that doesn't happen too much. It just felt awkward. Like, I know there's nothing wrong with it. It's... He... They... It's genderless, but... Hmm. Okay. Hmm. Oh god, here we go. <laughs> Jesus Christ! <laughs> His reaction was fantastic. I'm gonna keep saying him because it's so hard to say, like, it. It's so awkward, but... Interesting. Oh, can he taste stuff now? Oh, here we go. The food is gonna be disgusting, maybe. Well, no, be never mind. Because the, the three adventurers came and they liked all the food. Never mind. I thought the food was gonna be disgusting and they were gonna be like, Oh, now we gotta go find cooks. Maybe it still will be, but... Uh, Gopta has such a weird look on his face in the background there. Ha! Oh my god, Gopta. Thing was kind of adorable. <laughs> oh. 
or it's the orcs. The great orc disaster. Probably not. Maybe. Oh. I wonder if Rim can sense something. <laughs> Degenerate. Oh. Huh. Oh, that's pretty cool. Unification and separation to merge skills together, evolving them into new skills. Oh. Interesting. Black Flame. Interesting. So not only can he just learn new skills, but now he can combine them. He is going to be so OP. Oh. Completely erased. <laughs> oh my god, I love when Great Sage has some attitude. Oh, uh oh. Oh, this guy's in the intro. I kind of wish I didn't see the intro, or else I'd be more, like, impressed by this stuff. But, oh no, got to. Are the other guys okay? <laughs> Just like, almost through a water balloon kind of thing of potion at him. Oh shit. Ooh. Oh, that character's in the intro, too. Hmm. Will he be able to stop this with diplomacy? Maybe? Ogres. Okay. So that's the ones with the horns, like that. This is like, a lot of the characters that are on his team, except for, I don't recognize a couple of them, but I wonder if he's already gonna get them.
Hmm. Is it something Shizu did, maybe? That they're mistaking? Nice. Oh, <laughs> it's a cool sound effect. Oh. Paralysis breath. <laughs> oh, get to see him show off some of his skills. So he's realizing it. Interesting. Orcs. They they keep saying Majin. Oh. I'm assuming that doesn't hurt him. <laughs> this guy talks a lot. <laughs> Ultra speed regeneration. <laughs> he has the thermal resistance so that he's gonna do anything.
<laughs> He's gonna turn into a slime. Oh. <laughs> Just straight intimidation. <laughs> We're on Gibbs' face. Oh, Black Lightning as well! <laughs> hmm. Hmm, interesting. But they weren't slain! They're just, like, asleep! Wait, what? Or were other ones killed, like, at a different time? Nice. Hmm. Oh. Forcing the pigs. Is it Gelmid that did it then? The orc disaster thing he was talking about before, and that pig man he had. It's not, it's the one that Gilmud had on, I think, maybe. Hmm. Or was it the hero, maybe, with a different one? Nice. Nice. He's gonna gain his intel. Nice. Oh, interesting. Damn! Wait, so they can evolve if it gives them names. What would they look like evolve? They already look badass. Ah, it's over! That was a good episode.
<laughs> but yeah, that was a, that was a fun episode. I liked it. <laughs> huh, oh. Well, I think I just spoiled myself a little bit because <laughs> I paid attention to the outro. I just noticed the ogres look a little more human at this point in the outro, so I'm thinking that might be what they evolve into, is just more human-ish when they uh, get their names. <clears throat> Alrighty, so uh, that is it. Alrighty guys, so that is the end of episode 9. That was a good episode. Um. I really, really enjoyed this one. It was a nice uh, pick-me-up of, like, epicness and silliness um, from the last episode, which is a great feeling. Um, kind of like I thought, we got some more of the village work being shown, but what I did not expect at all was to run into... I did... I have watched the intro and the outro. Um, I know I usually cut it out so you guys didn't see me actually watching it, but... So I've been spoiled on all that stuff that's in there already. Um, but I did not expect to meet the people, like some of the people that are in the intro already. Um, like this soon after Shizu. I expected like maybe a few episodes before we really met new people. But I'm all for that. That's pretty cool. They seem, they seem cool. Um, and... They don't have names, which was mentioned in the episode, so I'm sure Rim is going to name them if they, like, team up or something. Um, I wonder how that's all going to go down, because he was the, I guess, the the red ogre guy was saying he's going to be, like, the next leader of the ogre clan. Um, and then the, the little girl with, like, the pink hair is, uh, they call their princess. And so I'm curious if, uh, like, they're going to want to do their own thing and they're not going to want to join up with the Rim, but I'm wondering how they kind of, like, end up together. Because, obviously, by the intro, I can, like, they're all standing together, so it's interesting. I'm wondering if uh, Rim's going to take in the entire Ogre Clan uh, as well. And then, because they kind of have the, uh, they have the Goblin King? Is that what they call them? Um who leads all the goblins, and maybe they'll have, like, the Ogre King, too. And that will be that red guy. And I don't know if that girl's named as the princess because he's, like, she's with the the red guy, and he's supposed to be, like, the next king or something, so then she's gonna be queen. I don't know how that works out or how their hierarchy works, but maybe she'll be, like, the queen as well or something. I don't know. Um... But it was really cool seeing Rim fight with more abilities, even though, obviously, Rim is super OP. But it's awesome because Rim doesn't use his power to just force people. Like, he doesn't hurt and threaten them into submission in the sense of, like, like a bad way, I guess. Like, I don't know how to put it, because he does threaten them. He shows them his power, and they're like, holy crap, he's strong, we're gonna die. But he never actually, like, kills one of his friends to make a point or something. Like, he's just like, I'm gonna knock this one out, I'm gonna put this, this one to sleep with, or, like, par paralyze them with this skill, wrap this other one in strings, alright, now I'm gonna try to talk to him. And, like, none of them are really, like, severely hurt or anything, and, uh, Rim was able to, like, nullify the situation before it got worse, and, uh... Which is really cool to have, like, an OP character that doesn't... <clears throat> sorry. That doesn't just annihilate everything, you know? Um, 
So I'm really enjoying that factor. Like, it's almost like, because the thing is, is like when you have an OP character in a show like this, um, you, you still need to have some kind of struggle. But what do you do when nothing's a struggle? And I guess Rim's struggle is... He's overwhelmingly peaceful in a world that isn't peaceful at all, and he's struggling with convincing other people around him to be peaceful. Um, and I think it's an awesome concept. Uh, it's not something you see all the time in anime, and uh, and I just love it a lot. Uh, so... I guess I'm trying to think about what else happened throughout the episode. Um, actually, one thing I've been recently doing and it's helped me out is I skim through the episode and uh, and see. Oh yeah, I guess I guess we can talk about it a little bit. the The human form thing was a little weird um, when he was first analyzing himself. And like I said during the episode, if I left that part in, um, I'm gonna say he. Because it's just easier than saying it. I know he's genderless, though. Um, and I kind of... I even had that thought during the episode. I was like, is he genderless? I've been thinking about that for a few episodes. Um, and they just confirmed it for me in this one. But he is just easier to say than it. Because saying it feels weirder them. Uh, and using those like genderless terms is difficult for me. Um, so... I'm just going to keep going with he. Because <laughs> that's what he used to be in his old life. So that's what he is in mind, I guess, instead of in body. Um, but yeah, so there was something, even though his body is genderless, for some reason there's still a feeling of awkwardness of him just, like, standing there naked and, like, looking at himself and stuff. And, like... It just made me feel uncomfortable, so... But what I am glad is they got it over very quick in the episode, and it wasn't, like, a main focus of the episode. Um, even though they did crack some jokes about it afterwards, I'm very happy that it seemed to have blown over quick, and hopefully now that won't be a regular thing of him, like, checking himself out in a way. Um, so, yeah. Um, it's like a, It's, like, a weird... It's funny because I'm so used to generic fan service that it does like generic fan service doesn't really bother me anymore. Like the the ogre chick with her big boobs bouncing around on the screen like that, like it didn't phase me one bit just because I'm so like used to it in anime. But this was something different that I don't always see, and and that's what made me feel like so awkward about it. I don't know. Um, but yeah. Uh, I really liked the part when he was in the cave testing his new ability, um, and he looked in the water and saw the reflection of Shizu. I thought that was a really nice touch. It was really cool. Um, and then we learned about the degenerate skill, which I believe breaks down a skill and allows you to combine it with other skills. Um, which I guess he had some kind of fire skill before. Um... Probably one of the ones he got from the Ifrit, since he got the body double one from the Ifrit as well. And he combined that with Black Lightning, in a sense, I think. And managed to make Black Flames, which is cool. And they didn't even, like... The funny thing is, is I don't even think they explained it to us, did they? Which is cool, because they're kind of letting us make the assumption of how he got that with all of his other abilities. Like, if we remember them and he combines them, we get to try to figure out what he what he's done without actually being told, um, oh, we acquired this ability by combining this and this, um, so in the future we might be able to, like, analyze that kind of stuff and remember his, like, base abilities and what he's learned and try to figure out what he's combined with other things to make certain things, but that's a whole other level to his overpoweredness, um, in that he can combine skills. So he could take, like, his ice shards and, like, maybe combine them with the webs to make, like, a big, like, net shot kind of thing or something. Like, we could see some crazy stuff, um, which is, it's really cool. Um, oh, God. 
I'm skipping through the episode again, and I saw the scene where he's, like, looking, he made a body double of himself, and he's looking at him with, like, a weird, like, lewd face on. Oh yeah, so they never they never got to the point of eating, but I talked about it briefly in the episode. Uh, Rim's all excited to eat, and I feel like a good comedy route to go would be that their food tastes disgusting, and now they have to find cooks that can uh, prepare their meals. Because it would make sense that like, goblins don't, like, prepare, like, good meals, right? But the thing is, is we saw the three adventurers and Shizu eating, um... And they seem to be enjoying it a lot. Granted, they had, like, raw meat over a oven. I don't know what that's called in Japan. I forget. Um, but, and they're, you know, cooking it themselves. So maybe that's why they thought it tasted good. Um, and maybe the food the goblins actually prepare for Rem will be gross and they need to find cooks. Or they just won't go with that gag at all, and the food will just taste good, and we get to see Rim have a food gasm <laughs> uh, next episode, maybe. Uh, or it's just implied that it happens, I don't know. Um, but yeah, I mean, other than that stuff, I'm not sure much else really happened that I have to, like, talk about. Um... Because a lot of the episode, a lot of the rest of the episode was just them fighting. And a lot, I will admit, like, if I'm going to point out a bad thing about this episode is the, the red guy talked a lot. Like, he kept going on. So if you see me, like, if you don't see a lot of his talking in the reaction, it's because I figured I'd just take the opportunity and remove most of what he said Except for, like, maybe some of the really important stuff that I reacted to. Um, but he just kept going on and on. <laughs> like, they'd, they'd do a move, and then he'd stop to talk about it for, like, a few sentences. And then they'd do another move, and he'd stop to talk about it for another few sentences. And then they'd do another move, rinse, repeat. And it was just stuff like that. But, uh... But yeah, it like I'm fine because I really enjoyed the episode. But if I was to nitpick anything about this episode, that would be it. Um... But yeah, it was a it was a fun episode, and I don't really know. I mean, oh yeah, I guess uh, the, I can talk about Gelman. So Gelman had a mask on; it almost looked like a bird face kind of thing. Um, and they talked about pigs attacking their village. In last episode, we had Gelman giving a name to a pig and talking about the orc disaster. So does that mean that that's what that was? Or is that just, like, something completely different? Um, and they talked about someone with a mask, and Gelman had a mask. But I feel like you'd recognize, unless they're, like, stupid. Because we don't know much about these ogres, right? Like, we don't know their intelligence. Like, the way they talked, they seem smart. Um... Smart enough to be able to tell one mask from another. Unless they didn't have a good look at all. But he had to, like, grab it and, like, put it real close to his face to be able to tell that it wasn't the same mask. But he said it was close. But Gelman's mask isn't really close. So that leads me to believe, like, maybe the hero um got another mask after giving that one to Shizu. I don't know. And maybe the hero is still around and the hero is the one that attacked their village. Or maybe it's someone else altogether. Maybe it's not the hero or Gelmid. Maybe it's just someone else that had a similar mask or something. I have no idea. Um, but my my gut is telling me Gelmid just because they mentioned pigs. In last episode, we had that moment with Gelmid and a pig. So, yeah. <laughs> That's what I'm going to say for that. But other than that, I think that pretty much sums up most of this episode. If I were to have any predictions next episode, we're going to get... Uh, some, some feasting and some talking between Rem and the ogres and maybe somehow convincing them to join them. Or, these will be a recurring character we see later on. And maybe they'll be, like, too prideful to join Rem right now. They'll go back to wherever they're from, something will happen, and they'll fall back to Rem for help. And then that's when they'll join them. 
um, I see that as a possibility as well, because that guy was talking about his pride and everything, so maybe he wouldn't want to, like, join a big, like, group of people like this. Maybe he wants to, like, you know, keep his own people separate and everything, and and be, like, the true leader and all that. I don't know. But I guess we'll see. Uh, I wonder if we're going to have anything with those orcs coming up, or if... Uh, if that's, once again, like I mentioned before, it could be, like, a very future plotline, um, and all that. But yeah, I don't know. I guess we'll see when we watch the next episode. I hope you guys enjoyed. If you did, please like the video and subscribe to the channel. I very much appreciate it. Um, and also, if you're interested in full length, uh, where you can see the videos uncut, um... You can just sync your footage with uh, with my timer that I put up and everything, and you can see the entire episode with me. Then uh, go ahead and check out my Patreon. The link is in the description. You can also check out my anime list. Um, the link is in the description as well, where I have all the animes I have seen, all the animes I'm currently watching, and on my plan to watch section... Um, is all the animes I want to watch on my channel that I could possibly replace uh, some shows with as some shows finish and stuff like that. Um, but yeah, anyway, I appreciate all of you guys for watching and any of you that decide to support me and all that. Uh, let me know any if you want to talk to me about anything except spoilers. Please leave spoilers out of the comments, but if you guys have any questions or just want to mention something or talk about something i try to always respond to uh, the comments uh unless they seem spoilery then i'm just gonna skip them <laughs> uh but yeah uh i i enjoy talking to the people in the comments so yeah thanks for watching guys i will see you next time Bye bye